Hello and welcome to my Unreal Level Design video tutorial using the Unreal Development Kit, also known as UDK. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create this very same level using the assets provided in the Unreal Development Kit. To get started, we want to create a brand new scene. When you open up the Unreal Development Kit, you will be presented with a template level like this. To create the level that we're going to use for this tutorial, we're going to change the lighting template. To do so, we're going to go to File, New, and choose Night Lighting. Now that you have the Night Lighting template, we're going to delete a few assets that we do not need at this time. The first is this Light Mass Importance Volume. We'll add this later on once we're done with the visuals of the level. So for now, we can delete this. Next, we do not need these two static mesh cubes that are provided for us. Hitting left mouse button and holding control, I select both of them and hit delete. Lastly, we do not need the player start at this time as well. As you can see that the skybox in the background is moving, we do not need the movement on right now. So what we're going to do is turn real time view off by hitting this joysticks button in the top left corner. Lastly, the level is in lit mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it to unlit as we do not need lighting on at this time. To do unlit mode, simply go up here and click the unlit button. Now that we have our scene, our template ready, we're ready to begin building the foundation for the level. For the foundation, we're going to go to the brushes and right click on the cube and a dialog box has opened. This is where we will set the dimensions for the foundation of the level. In the X value, we're going to put 2048. In the Y, 1024. And in the Z, 32. Our builder brush has changed, but to actually add in the brush to the world, select the builder brush using the left mouse button and hit Control A at the same time to add in the brush. And there we go, our brush has it been added. Now that we have the BSP foundation, what we're going to do is start adding in so the static mesh foundation to the level. What we'll do is we'll go to the content browser, which is defined with this U logo up here, and open it. At first glance, the content, content browser has a lot of stuff in it, from textures to sounds and whatnot. We're going to filter our results to static meshes. To do so, click on the static mesh box right here in the middle, under object types. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to search for a block. So in the top search bar, type the word block. And our search has, results have been filtered to static mesh blocks. What we're going to use is this block called SM Gen Ruins 512 Block 3. Select it and drag it into the world. Right now this block is very big. What we're going to do is we're going to scale it down to half its size. Before we do that, we can close the content browser as we do not need it at this time. To scale a mesh, simply select it and it will turn blue. In the bottom right corner you'll see these values of 1, 1, 1, and 1. This is the draw scale values. The first value is the draw scale of the entire mesh. The second value is the draw scale on the x-axis. Second third value is the y-axis, and finally the fourth value is in the z-axis. To scale this object in all axes properly, just select the first value and change it to 0.5. Now that we have our mesh scaled down, we're going to move it into place. To move a mesh, you can see right now that the movement widget is already selected. If I use the left mouse button on any part of this movement widget, I can move this mesh in any direction I like. For this tutorial, we're going to select this mesh and drag it into the far right corner. So that approximately this edge of the mesh lines up with the, this edge of the builder brush. Like that. Next, what I'm going to do is use this foundation BSP checkerboard texture as a as a reference of how far in I need to move this mesh. So for this tutorial, I'm going to move it in one, two, three, 
four and about four and a half in and move this mesh mesh down so that this trim portion of the corner is at the bottom of my BSP surface and then pull it out so that I cover all the BSP with the cube with the static mesh block in place what we're going to do is clone this block two times to clone it simply have your left mouse button over the mover, mover widget, hold it down, and press Alt at the same time and drag it. And there you go, you have a duplicate of the same static mesh. We're going to create one more duplicate using the same technique of holding Alt and left mouse button on the movement widget and dragging it. There you go, we have three identical blocks. The next step we're going to add in another set of blocks on top of this foundation. We'll return to the content browser and we have already have our subsection of blocks uh, filtered. So what we're going to do is select this mesh next to it called SMGen Ruins Block 04 and drag it onto here. Close our content browser. Again as you can see this block is larger than our foundation piece. So what we're going to do is scale this down to half as well. Once again we'll go down to our draw scale and change it to 0.5. Now we will line this mesh up to the foundation. And that's good enough. Next we'll create two duplicates of this same mesh. Again use holding down Alt, left mouse button and dragging the moving mover widget. Now that we have this foundation piece we're going to create a duplicate of this entire piece and put it on the other side of the builder brush. To do that, we're going to select all six pieces by holding down control and left mouse button. And then, using the Alt key and left mouse button, we're going to drag this entire set of meshes over to the left side. Now that I've made my duplicate, I can actually let go of the Alt button and just continue holding left mouse button to move this over. and to keep things equidistant I'm going to bring this in the same number of units 1, 2, 3, 4 and about 4 and a half roughly there so that the BSP is covered and there you go we have our foundation ready for the visual scene